Hey, all right, so uh, today I'm going to do a little tutorial. Uh, some of you guys know I do use um, shafts, you know, tapered shafts. Uh, therefore, it's two piece sticks, and uh, a lot of people have been emailing me, uh, and you know the deal. If enough of you email me about it, I'm going to show you how to do it or try to do a little tutorial for it. So, Today, uh, now that I've officially found my uh, heat gun, we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of this. So what you will need is a shaft, standard or tapered, your blade, whatever beautiful curve you want to have, a heat gun. Now, this is a Wagner. Um, this was 1995 at Home Depot. So you can pick one of these easily up anywhere, you know, Home Depot, uh, any other hardware store that you have nearby your house, Lowe's or uh, True Value. I used to love shopping at True Value. I wish that place was still around. Um, or whatever you guys have at, you know, in Canada, Canadian Tire, or whatever's going on over in Europe. And of course, uh, some glue sticks. Now, uh, glue sticks, you can use whatever type of glue sticks you want. Um, you can go actually to any store like uh, Michael's or Walmart or whatever store that you, they sell hot glue, you know, for the little hot glue guns that you uh, weird people like to hot glue stuff onto their sweaters or whatever. I don't know. I always thought it was weird when people do that. So step one, we're going to make sure that your blade and your shaft are nice and clean. So since I just took this off, uh, it's actually pretty good. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get this taken care of. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to heat up the blade with some glue and also heat up the shaft. So first the shaft. So we're just going to go over it lightly, you go to here and up, like that. And so you kind of flip it over so you don't bake your paint and make it boil. And just get it nice and going and get that, get that shaft nice and hot from the inside as well because you know you need those fibers to expand a little bit and then they're going to enclose once they uh, cool down and everything. And uh, since I do uh, spray paint my sticks, this actually kind of makes the spray paint boil. So unfortunately, this fresh paint job is now going to go to crap. So uh, whatever, you know, whatever helps you guys out. All right, so the shaft is nice and hot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start heating up the glue. And this is just multiple glue sticks together, just melted together, uh, because I like to kind of keep my hand as far away from it as possible because the last thing that you need to do is burn yourself. So while that is heating up, we're going to also be heating up the blade. And uh, so we're gonna keep that nice and uh, nice and hot. There you go. And uh, so heat up the blade, heat up the glue, throw some heat on that blade again. And mainly just in the hustle or, or hustle, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't know. I heard a guy call it hustle the other day. That just cracked me up. Um, all right, so uh, we get we're getting that nicely, uh, nicely melted. Let's go ahead and continue on here, so you can see the the glue starting to kind of peel away from the heat. That's a, that's the consistency that we want. Be careful with this. Be careful with this because if you touch that, it'll actually make your skin blister on contact. So nice and hot. Now that it's nice and hot, we're going to apply a nice generous amount on each side. And uh, the glue is already starting to uh, kind of get a, get a little bit cooled off. So once we've got that on there, we're going to go ahead and put this down and go back over here and continue heating these two bad boys up here really quick in, over, around, under, aside you know get that get that heat nice nicely done and uh, make sure that everything is consistent and uh, let's see here should be here ready to go pretty soon We'll decide here in a moment. Get it nicely baked. Alright, and 
and now we're going to put it side up and give it the slip yeah slip it to them and see how that glue just kind of resonates out you want to get some of that glue and throw that in there as well get it all nice and in there so you can have some glue on the inside also kind of gluing it together and uh, slip it on in check to see if there's any wiggle to it and then uh, go back and then just kind of push some glue back in there again and just kind of get it all nice and wound in there get in all the nooks and crannies and uh, that way you can start a nice little setup for that back down and uh, start the little baking process on here And uh, you're basically almost done. The blade is nice and tight in here. So all you do is just come back and you peel away until it's all taken care of. And look at that. So you just do this right here. Push up so you can kind of get it in between the blade and the little crevice. It doesn't matter if you get some on the blade, you can always go back and chip that off. It's okay. So see, most of the glue stick came back. All the other good stuff is in there. And you're going to be doing the same exact thing. So you're going to be doing the same exact thing like we just showed you right here with the butt end. So it's the same. And then of course, I mean, it's going to be... Uh, cooled off in about five minutes and then you can hit the ice or you know in case of me I just I do it and then I walk up I skate you know I get on the ice immediately without waiting I've never had an issue so all the people who tell you that it's really bad hey come at me with suggestions bro because I've never had an issue so other than that if you guys have any more suggestions or any questions please let me know I'm more I'm here to help I'm here to you know help you guys learn some things um, just don't be jerks about it I guess you know to or to each other because I know um, it's getting pretty venomous out here in the uh, hockey YouTube community with all the young people just spewing a lot of uh, a lot of really mean things to each other so how to change out a blade uh, it's the same exact thing like I said for the butt end this has a uh, wood plug because I didn't need uh, to use a composite plug it was too short and uh, you are set up and ready to go. Stick is taped up. Go ahead and hit the ice. All right, cheers.